Okay, let's take two on this live, okay? We're talking about repurposing content and using it in as many different ways as possible, okay? So before I was talking about how you need to blitz on as many social medias as possible for this business, um, you're gonna have a lot more success in, in sales and in growing your team if you do this, okay? And I'm still very new to this company, I'm still learning learn from my mistakes, okay? I, I was with this company for seven months before I started a TikTok account. I know there's a lot of people out there that are very anti-TikTok. You don't have to watch the videos to make content on it, okay? You don't, but you can reach a lot of people through TikTok, okay? But here's, here's what I do. I'm just gonna give you an example of how I repurpose my content for as much as possible. So anytime I go live, after the live is over, I save the live to my phone. I hope this fan isn't too loud. It's just so hot in here. Um, I save the live to my phone and I post the live on YouTube every time. Um, if the live is not too long, I will also post it on Instagram. But Instagram, unless you are, have like an official checkmark account with them, like you're verified, they have a limit on how long your videos can be. I think it's 15 minutes, so if it's over that, amount in my lives, which most of my lives are, you won't be able to post it on there, okay? The other thing that I do is I often turn my lives into reels and TikToks, and the way I do this is very simple. So while I'm talking, I will like get started, and I won't say anything, I'll just be like, without any makeup on, I'll just be like, yeah. and I go like this, and then I start, okay? Because that's gonna be the beginning of my TikTok most of the time. <laughs> And um, so I need to have enough space where my mouth isn't moving. You know, like they don't know, like your audience doesn't know what you're doing. Usually when you first get on, nobody's even on there anyway. It takes them a minute for people to pop up. So it's not a big deal. So after I upload it to YouTube, I then go through and crop and edit portions of the video to make into a reel. All right. And I reels, Instagram reels are the same thing as TikTok. So if you're gonna make one, you might as well make the other. That way you can hit two platforms for the same amount of work, okay? Um, I do the same thing with my stories, which you should always be posting in your stories every single day. I do my makeup in my stories unless I'm gonna do it on my live, all right? Uh, that's just how you do it. You've got to be making as many different types of content as possible because people take in content different ways. Everybody has their favorite ways. Some people like to watch live videos. Some people like to read posts. Some people like to have stories. You have to have every content possible to reach as many people as possible, okay? That's just how it works. So for my stories, this is I did today for the very first time and I think it worked out pretty well. I didn't intend to do it, so I could have been a lot more purposeful about it, all right? because I was talking the whole time. I didn't give myself any time where I was just like, you know, like this, and that talking. The whole time I was just oh, running my mouth. Okay, so it looks kind of funny in the reel. But <laughs> I did it anyway. So after you post your reel, I mean, sorry, your stories, um, on Facebook, there's three dots at the top, and on Instagram, there's three dots at the bottom that says more. You click that and you push save, save video and it'll upload that 15 second clip to your phone. All right, and those 15 second clips are the perfect things to put together to make a reel or TikTok, all right? So I did that today for the first, first time. And what I would recommend is at the beginning of your stories, try to hold up all the products that you're going to use. So like today I used five products and I was holding them up like this, okay? These, well, not the brush, because that brush isn't a product. Did I only, oh yeah, I had, I had concealer as well. So I held these all up at the beginning, and I should have posed for a second, like, you know, or did like a little cute dance to go at the beginning of my TikTok, and then every single slide was me putting one of these products on, you know, and then I just clipped them all together and made a TikTok and a reel with it, added music and you're done. And it took you the same amount of time as it would have taken you to do one thing, you did multi, you reached multiple platforms at that point. 
And that's what I'm talking about. You need to do as many things as possible with as little product, all right? Now, to begin, this is gonna take you more time because you have to learn how to edit these things and it can be a little bit frustrating. Particularly for me, the hardest thing is editing YouTube videos. I'm not good at it. I have tried and tried and tried. <sighs> they don't look good, okay? I'm just gonna <laughs> say that right now. Um, I feel like the Facebook Lives are fine that I put on YouTube because like I've put in the description, like this is a Facebook Live that I have uploaded. But if I try to make a video for specifically YouTube, I feel like it's always trash. <laughs> uh, I'm just not very good at the editing side of that yet. Um, and I need to get better at that. But it is what it is, okay? And something that I saw Jesse Lee do that I really want to do in the future when Jessie Lee goes live on a platform, she goes live on all of them. If she's live, she will be live on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. I didn't even know you could go live on TikTok, but you can. And what she does, it's so cool, is she has multiple phones, okay? Now, I don't know if all of them have like their own phone number and hook, are hooked up to a service or not. Um, for this, they wouldn't need to be as long as you have Wi-Fi. But she has like multiple holders, phone, phone holders, and she just has them all in front of her and she goes live all at the same time. Okay, so she doesn't have to go live on each individual platform and all of them are live. People like watching live video more than they like watching the replay. Some people do anyway, they like to be able to interact with you and comment. Um, this would not be that hard to achieve, especially I don't know if you're like my family, like my parents, they always have random unused phones sitting around from when they've upgraded or like the screen is cracked or whatever it might be. It's not in use, it's not hooked up to anything, but you can still use the Wi-Fi on it. You can still use the camera on it and you can set it up. Unfortunately, my husband and I are not like that. We only have our two phones. We have a few tablets, but I want to try to do that with. Um, but I need to get like a tablet holder, which would have to be a little bit big. They make them for um, like iPads and stuff like that that hold it. Um, but that's something I'm working towards to be able to go live on multiple things. It's kind of what I want to do. Um, because then again, you're hitting more platforms with less time, okay? And if you are running this business and working another full another job or another part-time or full-time job or if you have family if you have kids I don't have kids but if you have kids they need attention a lot of attention and it you, chances are you're probably doing this in between nap time in between them playing outside in between their bedtime and them waking up the next morning that's incredible by the way I really recommend like commend you for doing that however you need to be utilizing your time as much as possible. Um, yeah, I have to get back to teaching. But thank you so much for watching this. If you need tips or tricks or advice on how to make different accounts for different social media, let me know and I'll work it for you.